Hello and welcome to the channel and the continuation of Spook Moth. We are continuing with a playthrough of Arkham Horror. There is a new one-shot, famine one-shot that just came out for the Phantom of the Opera. So we're going to give that a look. There is the encounter deck. We're going to shuffle. We don't have a campaign or booklet. But they did give these little cards. We'll put these to the side because that's for the end of the scenario. Fan of the Opera, yada yada. It can be played as one two ways, a standalone, yada yada. Uh, we're going to do st only standard or horde. Okay. Standard. I hope that does everything. Three. Uh, no, it's not a side story. So, four. Malevolent Phantom, with the outgoing troubles of Orkham, it was often difficult to keep track of strange happenings abroad. However, macabre news from the Opera Gornia caused an international stir. The superstitious had long claimed that a ghost haunted the Opera House, and a series of threats and murders gave a tangible truth to the rumors, culminating in the theater chandelier crashing down into the audience mid-performance. It was all far beyond the capabilities of the Paris police. Your arrival at the Opera House some weeks later was met with gratitude by the Opera managers and Raoul, a minor nobleman. With your assurance of help and secrecy, they entrusted you with the details about the Phantom kept from the public, specifically his obsession with Christine Day, the young diva of the Opera and Raoul's fiance. The demands of the Phantom and the body count of defying these demands could not continue. The managers had divided a masquerade ball to entrap the fiend, and with you embedded in the crowd, they were blindly certain that it would be the Phantom's end. All of your instincts, on the other hand, pointed to a long night ahead. Gather all the cords, yada yada. Randomly choose two copies of Grand Foyer and remove them from the game. Are these all Grand Foyers? Looks like two are removed from the game. Uh... Put each other copy into play. Each investigator begins to play at one randomly chosen copy of Grand Foyer. Do we start at the same one? I'm gonna say we start at the same one. We'll go we'll go top. Da da da. Set each other location inside at play. Go to each decoy mini and each of the following mini cords. Yada, yada. That should be that over here and here. Uh, find a phantom and resolve his concealed keyword. So it's concealed one. So he and a decoy shuffled up. One goes here, one goes here. I think that's how that works. Shuffle the remainder of the counter course to building counter deck. We are now ready to begin. Quick setup. Uh, our two investigators are going to be Men Fin Fan and Rita Young. Men Fin Fan will be the main clue getter. Uh, Rita is going to be the main damage dealer. Hopefully this all goes to plan. Uh, I need to get three tricks for her. Uh, which ones do I put under her? Okay, so. Dirty fighting. A sweeping kick. And an easy mark. Okay. So now. Uh, the quick, uh, the sharp eye of you will notice that we each have one extra cord than we're supposed to. Because this is a standalone, we are doing with the alternate rules in which we can start with 19 XP and just add one extra weakness to the deck. I should probably look at those random weaknesses to make sure they don't start in play because the game does not do that. Reckless, that's stupid. And Valor Drizzets. Fine. Rita has the hood. Oh, wait, no, that's her main. Uh, paranoia. Uh, I hate paranoia. And nihilism. Reveal cancer. Eh, that's probably fine. Okay, so. 
Deductions all double deductions always good, and that's nice. Shortcut. Uh, we'll, we'll mulligan that this early. We'll mulligan that this early. And her signature, making it one core to each skill test performed by an investigator in another location. Isn't that her thing? Oh wait, no. She, they just gain that. After you commit exactly one core to a skill test, exhaust. Okay, we'll keep that and draw two. A perception of fuel. Okay, like that. Riho will get. That's a weakness. Take horn. Eh. Easy marks. Good. Sweeping kick's probably fine. That's probably fine. We'll get rid of these two. <laughs> I have all my easy marks. That's actually pretty good, actually, because that means I can just combo them immediately. Because it's, I, because it's not when you draw it. Yeah, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so let us begin. So she gives and for that scary case commits a core. The core gains an icon. That's always good. That counts to herself. That's really good. Okay, so we start here. Oh wait, also agenda. One A Sinister Forces. The atmosphere of reverie seems to both mask and blend with the underlying evil here tonight. Something more than a lone maniac is haunting your steps. Something that your opera managers did not and could not account for. Whatever it was, you would discover it before long. Doom Threshold of 4. Act 1A, Masquerade. You shake off your nervousness and try to focus on the task at hand. The masked portagoers mingle around you, but you scrutinize each one in turn. Any one of them could be the phantom in disguise, if there is only one of them. When the phantom is exposed, add one clue to the location where the phantom's mini card was exposed from the token bank. Okay, we are ready to begin. So, and he does, when he is exposed, immediately return him to the shadows and resolve his concealed mini cards. Do not remove other concealed mini cards from play while resolving this effect. That's annoying. So, begin playing the Grand Foyer. Well, one of the Grand Foyers. Resign, spend one resource, pour lay, look at the revealed side of a concealed mini cord at this location. You may spend an additional resource to expose a chosen mini cord. Uh, what is your base four? Uh, how does freaking concealed work? Uh, so many cards cannot be engaged. So I've investigated the same location. Of concealed many cards may tend to expose it by accessing, attacking it, or evading it, or by investigating location. Okay, fine. Uh, all these are going to have no clues on them, right? Uh, we're going to let Rita go first. Her first action will be to number one. Okay, number one. Uh, we're going to play her little mask. Number two, we are going to move in the hopes that we can find one. Move over here just in case. They do the thing again. Son of a bitch. You can see what it is. I hate it when they're upside down. Okay. So, this actually does not have clues. Okay, so they are all the same, looks like. Choose. Choose a concealed mini court at this location and look at its revealed side. If the chosen court is a decoy, I must either take a damage and a horror or a horror. Or add a decoy to this location and shuffle all concealed mini cords at this location. Uh, 
Okay, so we can attempt to evade up two. That's probably just fine. What is that? Minus two. You may take one whore. If you do not, you cannot expose concealed mini cards as a result of this test. Okay. <sighs> Do I want to take a horror this early on Rita, who only has five horror? Probably not. Okay, then it's your girl's turn. She is going to... Frick it. First action, she's just going to... Do the parlay test here to look at the thing. It is the phantom. I may spend a additional resource to expose. We're gonna do that to expose it. So it's him. Um, the phantom is exposed. at one clue to the location. So clue here, and then we resolve his keyword again. Nope. Shuffle, and we're gonna put one over here. That was one action. Second action, we're up one to this investigate. Second action, we're gonna play the field work just because. And last action, we'll investigate up one. It should be fine. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't commit anything. Okay, so that's that. No enemies. Upkeep. You get a shortcut. Rita gets a meat cleaver. Nice. Doom goes to one, and we get encounters. Who's the lead? You lead. Put watch and go into play next to the agenda deck. After you expose conceal mini cord via fighting or cord effects to deal damage, lose an action. At the end of the round, if the Phantom's mini cord was exposed this round, discard this. Well. We're probably not going to expose you by fighting. And you get concealed one. After you expose Sorrel's mini card via investigating or a court effect, it attacks you. Okay. So you're in the shadows. I know you're a decoy. Delete the name. So one here and one here. I'll do one here. Let's just do one here. That's fine. And or turn again. Rita's going to attempt to evade this thing again. Up to. I should probably go here because what if I can get a clue here? Yep. Uh, choose and discard a core from your hand to look at a revealed side. You may choose and discard an additional core to expose it. Okay, so next we're going to evade up to. Do it again. I hate this game. Absolutely hate this game. Rita. We're going to look at this one again. Hmm. So that's that. That thing's here. I don't really want to do that. Uh, this is probably a dumb move. 
No. We're just going to investigate up like a billion. Okay, four, five, six, seven. I'm up by four. So I draw two cards. Nice. And I get the clue. And then... You know, I'm going to spend the money to look at the last one here, just to say. He's still here. Fantastic. Okay, so, no enemy phase, because they're in the shadows. Upkeep. You get a uh, working a hunch. You get a, another mask. Doom goes to two out of four. Uh-uh-uh. And encounters. Okay, so that didn't happen because no damage. And this did not reveal him. So, attach fixation to the non-permanent, non-story asset you control at the highest printed cost. That, if you can attach again. After you activate or trigger an ability on the attached asset, discard the attached asset or the phantom attacks you. It is one and one. It's probably fine for now. Angel of Music. If there is no copy of Angel Music in play, put into play next to the agenda deck. Each investigator's maximum hand size reduced by X, where X is the number of concealed mini cards at the investigator's location. In the round, if the Phantom's miniature record was exposed. Okay, so we know where it's at. It's over here. So we need to do that. So. Uh, Rita's going to move in. She's going to attempt to evade up to. We're going to use a Sparrow Mask to be up four. Because apparently I can't do anything. Minus three. If you skewed by two or more, I did not. But I did do that. So, oh, it's the Phantom. So... Uh, this has to be a clone decoy then. So for that, I put you over here. And then we get a clue here. And her last action, she's going to move down here. So she doesn't have to discard a card. Next, it's Reader's turn. We need to get that clue. Uh, I think first action, gain a resource, second action, play the, that's not even an action, so that's two. So I'm just going to get this clue. Um, I will spend it. Yeah, let's just spend the clues. To see what this does. Your first glimpse of the phantom are brief but telling. Piercing eyes glare at you from behind a skull-like mask. As you both begin to probe each other, and then he's suddenly gone. Panic begins to set in his thoughts of failure mount. But just as suddenly, a strong hand claps your shoulder. You whirl around to meet a stern, mustached man in a red fez. There is much time to explain and little there is much to explain in little time. Come with me. Choose an investor to gain control to set aside the Persian for the remainder of the scenario. He does not take up any slots. What the hell? Okay. So it's one clue and one fight after it's a little fast. Reduce the next cost the next event you play. Hmm. These are both I'm gonna give it to Rita. Not Rita, Minka. So, choose a revealed copy of the Grand Foyer, move each investigator enemy not in the shadows and concealed mini core to that copy of the Grand Foyer, remove each other copy of the Grand Foyer from the game. Um, I guess we're going to go here. We are going to have to discard, well, men's going to have to discard a lot of cards.
Put each set aside opera house location into play. If there are fewer than four total concealed mini chords in play, add additional D chords until the number is met. Shuffle each concealed mini chord in play and redistribute. Okay, so wasn't this act two locations? So this should just. Perfect. Okay, and we have six, which is that's more than two per each. each opera house location equally okay so one two okay so she's not gonna have to discard a card okay act 2a chasing ghosts the phantom has already struck miss day has disappeared and raul is chasing shadows in his desperation whether or not you trust me i trust you to find the phantom's lair before it's too late to prevent a dire tragedy Force, after you expose a decoy, the phantom attacks you. When the phantom would attack an investigator, spin a clue to cancel it. When the phantom is exposed, place one clue on this act from the token bank. Find an complete and conjective on another encounter card. Okay. So, Rita still has two actions. So... Um, we're going to move into here, the auditorium, and get, move a concealed mini core from any reveal location to the auditorium. When the agenda advances, if there are one or more investigators in the auditorium, each investigator in the auditorium must either take three damage or lose two damage. Oh, that's just when the agenda advances, that's fine. And we need, oh. We, um, at four, I'm up to. I'll just investigate twice up to. Got one clue. Got two clues. Let's go. Okay. That's it. Upkeep. Oh, I am going to have to discard one. Because I'm drawing. Anyway, no enemies. Upkeep. Shortcut, you get long shot. And I'm gonna have to discard, we'll discard a shortcut. One, three, four, five, six, seven. I shouldn't have done that, I can find that, it's fine. And Doom goes to three out of four. And counters. These both get discarded. Because we did expose it. Test three. If you fail, take two horror. If you fail by three or more, and there are one or more enemies in the shadow, place a decoy location. Flip face down and shuffle. Okay. Okay, so I am up one to this. Do I have anything to commit? I really want to do it. I succeed. Easiest game of my life. Revelation. Spawn terrible guys at a connecting location and t or take one horror and storm and engage with you. Choose one. Hunter. X is equal to number of concealed mini cords at this thing's location. Uh... Let's pawn you over here. Okay, and our turn. We're going to let Rito go first. Try to kill something, hopefully. So first action, she's going to move. Get engaged. Uh, when she gets engaged, she'll do activate bewitching. 
Uh, when you engage an enemy, either draw one attached card. We're gonna draw. I'm gonna draw dirty fighting. Second action, we're going to sweep the leg. So this is five, six, seven to two. Got it, it's dead. And last action, one, two, three. We're going to play the dirty fighting. So now, we're pretty good at fighting. And next time we can do that. I probably should have played that a long time ago. Anyway, we are going to discover two clues at a location for lower printed trial than your location. Which probably going to be, we're going to first action move over here. What happens over here? I didn't even check. When the last clues discovered from box five, look at the revealed sides of any two concealed mini cards in play. And it's, ooh, it's a victory point. And so we're going to move down here for one. If there are two or more clues on the current act and each undefeated investigator is at backstage, advance the act. Okay, so we need to reveal the phantom at least twice. Um... I am now going to investigate using a deduction. I'm at up one, up two, up three, up four because of this, her ability that I have not been paying attention to. Up five because of that thing. Shroud is minus two. That's fine. So I get both the clues. Um, then... After the last clues is covered, reduce the cost of the next event you play this round by two, which is, it's an event. I can't even play it. I can't even play it. I'm going to retcon that and say I would have done a resource so I could play it. Discover two clues at location with low printed shell value, which is this. Hiya. Okay, and that is it. No enemies to worry about. Upkeep. Dr. Milan. Another meat cleaver. Doom advances. A sudden flash of movement catches your eye, and you have mere moments to act. Have you cornered the phantom, or has he led you to a trap? Shuffle all concealed many cards and redistribute them evenly. The lead investigator must choose or reveal... Reve and reveal a concealed mini cord. If that mini cord is decoy, the phantom attacks each investigator in play order. Otherwise, return them to that location and shuffle each concealed mini cord. Flip back to Agenda 1A. Okay. So, shuffle them all, redistribute them. Then, even though they were all ready. Then, reveal a conceal mini card. If that mini card is a decoy, the phantom attacks. Otherwise, return the mini card to that location and shuffle each conceal mini card at that location. Okay. So, I guess the best thing to do is just the one one of the ones with the ones by it. It is a decoy. So the phantom attacks each investigator in player order. Otherwise. So it's still revealed, which means it gets discarded. And one and one for everybody except You're gonna spend the clue to do that. And I don't think I can do it for you, so we're not going to. And that is that. Next, it is Agenda 2A, face to face. The Persian pounds his fist on the stone wall tensely. Eric, stop this madness. There's, there's no. Oh my god, I don't know how to talk. There is no humanity in this. 
The phantom's laughter abruptly stops with a snarl. None. Humanity has scorned and abused me all my life, and for what? This horrid face? I forfeit my humanity, for I have found great wonders beyond. My single mask is joined by a thousand others. My music of the night weaves into its cosmic piping. I will have what I am owed, as will the whole world. And should you try to deny me, the consequences will be explosive. Oh, wait, no, we flip back to 1A. That's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then encounters. Attach this to the location with the most concealed mini cords without another this. Uh, it gets plus two shroud. I'm going to put you over here. You get aloof. While minion B is in the shadows, increase the printed cost. Okay, well, Rita can hopefully kill this thing, like, really quickly. <clears throat> so, um, it's aloof. <clears throat> it's not in the shadow yet, so... Okay, first action, one, two, three. Playing a meat cleaver. Second action, we're going to engage this thing. And third action, we're going to attempt to evade it. We're up three. We got it. Since we evaded it, we can, after you evade an enemy, exhaust this, take a fight action against that enemy, ignore the aloof keyword, I get plus two to the attack. So I am, I'm using the fight on the meat cleaver, so I'm at three, four, five, six to two, up four. Got it, dead. Thank you. Um, also, I should have drawn one of these. Easy mark. I have all three easy marks. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> time for you to do something. I have no money. Okay. Uh, she... I'm at five to three. I'm up two. I'm going to do up two to these investigates. Uh, minus four. Skull is act number minus two. So I get one decoy. This gets moved. I reveal the decoy. The phantom attacks you. I'm going to spin the clue. Do not take the damage. When you expose the decoy... I will move a clue from this location to this location. And I'm still just going to try to do shit here. The Phantom. Perfect. So when the Phantom is exposed, place one clue on this act from the token pool. Okay. And we need what? Two clues on the current A thing, and everybody has to be here. Okay, so him and decoy. Shuffle. Both of y'all back there. Okay, perfect. That's it for that. Uh, no enemies to worry about. I'm not going to care about that. And upkeep. The king in yellow. Put the king in yellow into play in your threat area. If you cannot, you can. It cannot leave play except through this. You cannot commit exactly one or two skill cards. After a skill test is successful in which Min Fa has committed at least six matching skill icons, discard this. Why does it say put in your threat area, but it takes up a hand slot anyway? You get her hatchet. Nice, nice, nice. 
Doom goes to one four. And encounters. Concealed one. Damn it. After you expose it via evading or a court effect automatically evades it attacks you. So concealed one. Stifled laughter. I did not want that here because now I can whiff. And then Rita gets Peril. Attach Shroud to an enemy and place one Doom on Shrouded Faces. It gets plus one five plus four after the attached enemy is exposed or evaded, discard it. Um. We'll put it on the Phantom. It's probably fine. And RFA, let's go. Um, we are going to do the test twice. Should I go to this first? Discord an asset, look at the revealed side of any two concealed mini cards at this location. I could probably do that. Wait. It doesn't say non weakness asset. Can I do this? Or is this against the rules? No, well, it can't. It cannot leave play except to the sound of I, I I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. We're gonna discord this. So that I can look at these. Decoy and right, delete that. Okay, so now we know he's here. First action move. That was an action now. So first action move. Second action investigate up three. This Swear to God. Let's go. Got it. So, haha, -ha, he's here. So, we get a clue. There are two clues on this thing. Uh, he comes back. Which was the decoy? This is a decoy. Doesn't really matter. Last action, we're going to move back here. And next to Tretus turn. We have first action would be one to move down here. Second action. I guess play a hatchet so we have options. And last action. I can just do this. Gain six resources, draw three cards. Let's do it. One, one, two, one. One, two, one. Damn it. One, two, one. And I have one action left, which is two. I think we're just going to draw a card. Okay. So. Uh, if there are two more clues on the act and each undefeated investigators at backstage events, yeah, we could have done that before. We'll, we'll wait. I already did it, so we'll wait till we have full action. It's fine. Upkeep. Quarry mind. Upkeep. Hunting jacket. Okay. Doom goes to two at four and encounters. Revelation, spawn violent shade at a connecting location or take one damn. I, okay, we'll just throw you over here. You get the location of the most concealed mini cards without another copy. That's two, one, hey, two. Let's go over here. And then our turn begins. We're now going to advance this. Advance the act. 
With the Persian's assistance, you scour the opera house, contending with the haunting phantom, until at last you reveal a secret passageway backstage. A booming voice, nearly giddy with laughter, echoes out from the dark shaft. So you ignore my warnings, interloper, interloper. So be it. Step down into the underworld and have your reckoning. I have much more than hell awaiting you. Randomly put five of three of the five set aside parasuers locations into play in a straight line. Remove each other copy of parasuers from the game. Put the set aside Finn's lair location into play. So that should be this. Act three locations. Okay, so. Three of the five parrots. So that's this. Discard this. Discard this. Three in a straight line. And this is the phantom's layer. Okay. If there are fewer than four total concealed mini cards, and there are not. There's a lot. And add additional decoys and thumbs match. Shuffle each concealed mini cards and plan to redistribute them between each copy of Parasewers equally. Okay. Oh, they had three over. Jeez, there's so much. So, what's it? Shuffle each concealed menu card and play and redistribute them between each copy of Paris sewers equally. Good enough. Move each investigator enemy not in the shadows to the leftmost copy of Paris sewers. Remove each hopper house from the game. Okay, so that's this, this, and we get you. All y'all are gone. Also, we revealed you. So this gets discarded. So we're going to let you go to you. You have three. Since that's like that, we're going to put one in the back. No, one here. So that way this has an easier evade for you. Move each invest, yada yada. The Persian clenches his jaw as the phantom words fade. What madness has gripped him? When I saved his life so many years ago, I never would have thought him capable of this. We must delve into the sewers and find him. Da -da -da. After you expose the decoy, he attacks you. When the phantom would attack an investigator, spend a clue, cancel the attack. When the phantom is exposed, place one clue on here from the token bank. God damn it, again. Okay, so. Parasurs, uh, after you fail a skill test while fighting at this location, discard a card from your hand with point of cost X or more, where X is the amount you fail by. Look at the revealed size of conceal mini card at this location. Okay, so two clues. You. Uh we'll let you go first. Uh it is evade three. We're up two to this. Uh we're going to try to just evade it. Up two. Failed. Amazing. Male dexterity up four. Now we get it. Draw a card. Uh, we get. Uh, we evade it. We're going to exhaust it. Then do dirty fighting with the this thing again. So. Okay. Oh, that thing doesn't do one damage by itself? Was I able to kill this? Oh, that was just one by itself. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so, as an additional cost to initiate this attack, have a horror to deal plus one. We're going to do that. Like that. And then we're going to fight. So that's, again... I have three or fewer sanity now, so I have one, two, three, four, five, 
Six, seven to four, up three, should be fine. Just barely, which is going to be enough to kill it. People took the horror and because I kill an enemy, I can heal a horror. And last action. Uh, let's play good old Pete Sullivan, huh? Need you, Pete. Okay, next it's Men's turn. <sighs> hmm. I'm up five. I'm up two to this. I can't. I have to come at least three chords if I want this to do it. Oh. I can do this. No, I can't. At least I don't want to do it like that. I think first action we're going to draw. What the fuck is this? Okay. Now we're going to commit three to this. I'm assuming the question marks can count as whatever. So after a skill is successful though. So if I get the thing. Anyway, I'm up like a billion to this test. I'm going to do... I think this still counts as a base investigate if we do it for the thing. So I'm going to do it like that. So that's... Three... That cancels out. Uh, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. Down to one. I only succeed by one. So I don't get the short vision test. But I do get to reveal one thing. Which is the stifled laughter. After you expose it via... I don't expose it via that. And now it's it's engaged with me. And this gets discarded. Hmm. I probably should have thought this through. I'm going to attempt to... I'm more likely to punch it than I am to evade it. Let's punch it for one. Nope, I failed. So, enemy phase. He's going to tap me for one and one. Upkeep. Grizzly Totem. You get the hoods. That's not good. Doom goes to three out of four. And encounters. Uh, that's bad. Test three. I'm currently even. I should have more of this because whatever. I'll commit one I should have just gotten. So I'm up two to this. Got it. Okay, my turn. Um, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Hmm. Okay, I think I can still do this. I'm going to fight with Rita using the hatchet. 
add your agility to the fight. So that's eight to three. Dealing two damage, up five. Got it, that's two damage. Now this thing is attached to that and I can get it back if I if and when I evade. I'm going to now attempt to evade it, up two. I should have done a long shot. So. I'll be up four to this because I really want to succeed. Got it. I believe I can choose the order of operations for when all this shit resolves. So I'm going to do the damage first, which will kill it. And it doesn't go, and its effect doesn't go off. I'm pretty sure. This goes. Take control of it. Perfect. And then. I'm going to uh, one, two, play break and entering, add this to the investigation. So I'm seven to three, up four. Got it. I will evade this thing for you. Look at this thing. It's a decoy. So I take a damage. I'll put give the horror to Pete because he can heal. And now it's your turn. There are no more things here, which is good. We're going to move. I kind of need clues. We're gonna investigate like seven to whatever, three up four. I love this game so much. Next we're gonna move. Okay, same thing. And um One, two, three, four. We're going to play Dr. Milan. Okay, that's it. No enemies. Upkeep. Where's the totem? Not a peat. This becomes engaged with me. Doom goes to. We advance again. Uh, shuffle all the mauled in play to reveal them all. Whoops. Uh, okay, so they each get two locations. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> then we will reveal a concealed mini card. It is not. Otherwise, return the mini court to that location and shuffle each mini court at that location. Okay. So we know what enemies here, so we kind of want Rita to be there. Although Rita's got her own enemy to deal with. Okay, so our turn. No, it's not our turn. We have encounters. You get. Fine. You get. Okay. Okay, so Rita's got her hands full. Uh, Pete should have healed. One, 
food. We're going to fight with the meat cleaver. Dealing a horror to Pete to give it plus one damage. We are. Um, up four to this? Not up four. We are four. So we're up two. Hopefully that's fine. Tablet minus two. We may take one damage. Okay, that's fine. It's dead. And if this attack defeats Emmy, you may heal one horror. Let's heal it for myself because Pete's going to heal. Next action, we're going to engage this thing. Then we're going to evade it. We're up a bunch. Amazing. Take a damage and a horror. I'll take the damage and I get one of these back. And you, Pete will take another horror. Ah, and now it's going to do its thing. So now it's Rita's turn. Not Rita's, men's. This is plus two shroud, whatever. We'll move back. Here for one. We're going to investigate up three for the concealed shit. Hey, you may choose a skill core, commit to the skill. Okay, well. I didn't commit anything, so decoy, perfect. I will cancel that attack. And we're gonna do it again. How many auto fails is that? Also I gain a resource. So enemy phase, this thing attacks for one. Perfect. It's in location, so we resolve its concealed keyword. What is that? B A. Okay, upkeep. Field work is nice. How to hatch it. Doom goes to one and encounters. Uh, so that's you get to Dr. Milan. You get test three agility. I'm up three. Should be fine to this. Also, you should have healed one. Perfect. Till the end of the round, ignore the above ability. I've been completely forgetting that above ability. So, it's fine. Uh, if you succeed by two or more, you may reveal a concealed mini location. I did succeed by three or more. So let's continue this one. The Phantom. Perfect. So. Place one clue on this act from the token bank. Da -da -da. So, and then this is at the end of the round, if there are two or more clues at this act, remove the investigators here. Okay, so just need to do that one more time. That decoy. I hope he's here, dude. Look at all these fucking enemies. Okay, so, or turn. Um, we're going to let Rita go first. Up three to this invest, evade. That is a success. Decoy. I'm going to forget what I said. I'm going to assume I can do this for anybody. Up three. Of course. It's in the place of the big one.
and then we're going to move in. That's that. Um, we're going to move in and discard this because that's just too dangerous to let go. And that's that. No enemies. Upkeep. You get that. You get that. Okay. Doom goes to two. And encounters. Test three. I am down one. I am not going to commit this. Um, you can't really help. Okay, so I am down one. That's even, that's up one. Up three. Up four. I hate this fucking game. If you fail, take two or more damage. One, two. If you fail, yeah, so place another decoy here. Yay. And then it's reader's turn. Test four. We're going to test four uh, agility. We're up two. That should be fine. Minus two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if you fail, if you succeed, you may reveal a concealed mini card location. You should have healed one. I cannot expose as a result. I'm going to take the horror then and put it that so I can expose, reveal a concealed mini card. So, do we get lucky and get the phantom right now? Nope. And then he attacks me, which we're going to cancel. <clears throat> okay, four, right here. Let's do it. So we're going to let Rita go first. We're going to try to investigate a hell of a lot. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to three. I'm up six. Up two, that's still enough to get two clues. And then I get all the clues, move to a connecting location, or move a clue from a reveal location to your location. I mean, might as well. Okay. Next, we are going to uh, just do the stuff for the concealment. Up three. That's a fail. Wait, is it a fail? No, it just barely succeeds. Phantom, we got there. Okay, so now we just need to survive until... There are two more clues in the current act, so move at the end of the round. So we're going to make you... <clears throat> We're going to put a grizzly totem on you, hopefully get you some card draw, which you desperately need. And Rita will, two actions to get rid of this thing. Last action. One, two, we'll put on a hunting jacket. And we'll put Pete down there so we can... Resource. Okay. So then, no enemies. Upkeep. Eureka is very good. That's very good. In the round, um, move each investigator directly to the Phantom's layer and advance. I feel like this is weird. Whatever. Okay. So. Oh, now we can advance. Your harrowing track through the fetid sewers finally arrives at a hatch in the ceiling of a stone building. You and the Persian steal yourselves before you descend inside. 
The interior is pitch black at first, but soon a reddish glow builds from the walls around you and a strong heat with it. Mocking laughter echoes to the chamber as the glow illuminates the cruel and medieval devices inside it. So, you have found my torture chamber. Allow me to show you its ingenious design. Move each investigator, enemy not in the shadows, and conceal many cards to the Phantom's Lair. Remove each copy of Paris Tours from the game. Uh, you still have seven of these stupid things. Y'all are all gone. Put the set aside hidden part. That should be this. Oh, no. Where is you? Why are they all one way? If there are a few, if there's not, shuffle each to conceal the enemy and place them in at the phantoms. Like all of them at the phantoms layer. Advance. Last one. The voice of a woman who could be who could be no one but Christine echoes after his voice. Eric, I beg of you, do not harm them. You promised that there would be no bloodshed. You don't know what has transpired between the two, but you can't allow yourself to be killed or to allow the Phantom's machinations to continue any longer one way or another. While there's two, while there's horror on two or more locations, you may ignore the forced effect on the Phantom. When the Phantom enters a location, put the set-aside Christine Dolly into play. If these are defeated, advance. Um, also, we should advance directly to Agenda 2. I am assuming we remove the Doom. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I am. So, uh, we flip this. After you end your turn at the Phantom's Lair and you did not discover clues or expose conceal mini cores, take one damage or horror. Add one clue to the Phantom's Lair. If there are four or more clues in the Phantom's Lair and there is no horror on the Phantom's Lair, place a clue on it. Okay. Investigators cannot enter this. After this is revealed, reveal hidden polar. Shuffle each conceal mini cord and play and we just After the Phantom is exposed, investigators cannot enter, investigators cannot enter. After organ chamber is revealed, reveal hidden parlor. Shuffle each conceal mini cord and play and redistribute them equally. Um, well, there are horrors to a location when the phantom enters the location. After you end your turn, how am I supposed to get in here? Because I can't enter into these places. We don't have... Oh, after he's exposed, I can reveal this thing. And when I expose that thing, okay, okay I, I, I figured it out eventually. I figured it out eventually. Okay, so um, that was the end of the round. Uh, so Doom goes to one out of seven. And we get encounters. Revelation spawn it at a connecting location. That's fine. Get over here. Pero, attach to an enemy and place one doom on shrouded faces. Attached enemy gets plus one four. After attach, well, we're gonna do it to you again. Also, you should have a doom on you. It's fine. So, our turn. We're gonna spend two actions to put two clues on this, so we can get a horror on here. Get one down, and then. You're going to investigate. Yeah, 
It didn't save from the token bank. So I assume I have to get that from you now? Same difference. Okay, now I'm gonna hit Eureka. So I'm at six, seven, eight. Nine to two, four, four clue. Got the clue. And we can search the top three chords for a chord. Magnifying glass, why not? And fast that up. That's your turn. Uh, we did discover clues and we did explore. Okay, so that's fine. So you should have healed. Um, we're going to evade up four to look for enemies. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Do it again. Minus three. If you succeed by two or more, you may look at the revealed side of a concealed location. Um, so was that, what, six? Minus three. I was up one. Up by one. Amazing. So only get one. Decoy. Get rid of a clue so you don't get attacked. And do it again. Elder sign. Perfect. But that doesn't really matter. Another decoy. We don't have any more clues, so I have to take a damage and a horror. The damage will go on you, the horror will go on you. Okay. And this thing gets into the thing. And no enemies, so upkeep. I did not shuffle. I got it right back. Let's go. You get resourceful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to. I'll get rid of resourceful. Doom goes to two or seven and encounters. Fuck. Five. So we only have three cards we can hold in our hand. Um, keeping that. I don't need all these things with you in there. I probably don't need you. I probably don't need you. I probably don't need you. Okay. So, uh, Doom was two encounters. Put all his watching to play next to the agenda deck. After you expose and conceal many cards via evading a card, lose an action at the end of the round. Okay. <sighs> evading. That's bad because that's how she gets the shit. Spawn Vaughn Shade at a connecting location or take one damage. Oh, wait, there wasn't a hunter in me, right? So you would be engaged with you and you would take a damage and a horror. But I forgot to do the horror again, so you get away. And you can go over here. And that was hers. So now we need yours. Concealed one. Okay. And conceal many cards can't be placed there, so they all have to go here. Okay, so we just get two more shuffled in. Still have frickin' seven. Okay, our phase. Um, 
So this thing has a fight of five? Amazing. But an evade of four. So we're going to evade it. We're up two, up three, up four. And commit a long shot to hopefully kill it. Whoo! With Rita's ability and a long shot, it is dead. And that's one thing gone. Then we're going to evade this thing. I probably should get clues first. I'm going to retcon that a little bit and let her go first. So, just a couple of clues. That's fine for one. That's fine for two. And last action, we are going to investigate to reveal something. Got it. There we get Burrowed Sorrows. Perfect. It attacks me because I investigated it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now it's Rita's turn. Now she does that. Now she's going to... I need to keep up on these stupid conceal mini cards. So we're going to do that. We get one. Decoy. Lose a clue to not get attacked. Um, we lose an action because of that, and then we're going to do it again with breaking and entering so we can hopefully evade that thing for her. I do succeed by two or more, so I can reveal an additional mini card. Lose that for an attack, and then Chaotic Minion A, and it's going to go right back in. Perfect. So that was just a waste. A little bit. Well, after it does one horror to me, which Pete will just take. Um, I would have evaded you. Enemy phase, Hunter's going to hunt. This thing's going to come here. One and one. Upkeep. That. That. Doom goes to four to seven. And encounters. Test four. If you fail, move to the connecting location with the fewest... Well, I can't move, which is something. So I'm up I'm even to this test. I fail. So I have to take a damage or a horror. I will take a horror. You get terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um It also has five evade, which is annoying. Also, you should have your thing back. Oh my god, How, what am I even supposed to do? So we need to get rid of this thing, like now. So I'm at three. I'm at four. I'm at even to this, I can, I can try to evade, but I'm not going to. Okay, I picked humanoid monster. This is human conspirator, so this can. We're going to attempt to fight this thing. So, three, four. Um, four. So I'm even. Up one, up two, up three. Hopefully that's enough. I did it. 
It's dead. I heal a whore. I'll heal it from Pete. And then because of resourceful in your discard pile, add it to your hand. Uh, take hearts, long shot. Wow. I guess we're doing take heart. Then, oh, this thing would have untapped, so we have you to deal with as well. Um, we are then going to try to evade this thing. Up three. Got it. I will then do the dirty fighting to fight it with the hatchet. I'm going to do her ability to put a damage on this thing. And then fighting up like a billion now. That's good enough. That's dead. I can heal another horror. I'll heal for myself because Pete's going to heal for himself. And then we're going to evade the top thing off of this deck. Hopefully. Hopefully it's the, um, whatever his name is. Got it. It's not. It's a decoy. So I take one. Oh, wait. I take one and two. Okay. Perfect. We're going to put both on the hunting jacket. I don't care anymore. And then Pete's going to, if your turn ends, he fully heals. That's nice. Your turn. We need to, we just need to get these clues. So up four. Please. The chaotic minion. Frick. Now I don't need that. I need to kill this thing. I don't have a fight. I'm up one to the fight. You're going to take horror to that. Oh, and that's plus one. So I'm up two to this fight. This is actually not that bad. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Well, I gained two cores and two resources. I'm going to fast out the work in a hunch to get this clue. And then I'm just going to investigate up three because I, I need to. And I'll commit Eureka to get some more cards, maybe. I got it. Top three. Unexpected Courage. And we reveal a decoy. I take one and... Uh, no, we're canceling that. And this thing deals a horror to me. And it goes back in. What? There we go. Shit. And we still have four. So upkeep. You get a grizzled. You get a chair of sheep cake. Five out of seven. Encounters. Test three. I'm currently down one. Up two. Up three. Up four. Got it. I draw a cord. I got... I think I succeeded by two or more. No, I did not. And frick! You okay? Fine, fine, fine. So, what do we want to do? 
Uh, Rita's gonna go first. Rita's going to discord this with two actions. Last action, she's going to try to evade the thingamajiggy. Got it. Shimmer and anger. Something I can no longer kill because I lost all my actions. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so... Got that. Finally. Okay, so when after the Phantom is exposed, reveal this thing. Uh, Argon Terry gets minus one trial for each for every two concealed mini cores. Move a concealed mini core from a connecting location to Argon Chamber. If there are four or more concealed mini Argon cores, fuck that, and this gets revealed as well. If there are two or more non elite enemies in the Paddos, and there's no horror here. And now one just came. Oh my god. So. He's still not in location. Uh, we're not going to do this. So we do this thing. It's um, concealed one. So that and that. One goes here, one goes here. And then, uh, that was just one action for her. So she's got two more. One to move in, and one to move one over here. Uh, enemy phase, you take one and one. One and a horror. Upkeep. You get minus one sanity. Perfect. You get... Long shot, nice, nice, nice. Tomb goes to six out of seven. So if I can't ex, oh, he did reveal. So this gets goes away at least. So I have two turns to kill this thing. Amazing. Encounters. These are also gone because we revealed. We get this back. And you get that's fine, probably, because we need it. Oh wait, it's aloof, so it does not begin engage with me. Uh, okay, we can maybe do this. So first, uh, you gotta go first. We have to evade you, which we did. Uh, then we're gonna do a dirty. Failed, amazing. Um, we're going to do it again. They say, this time we don't have the plus two. That's um, four, three, four. That's enough. That'll kill it. And last action, we're going to move up here. And we're going to use the reaction to take a horror to you to look at the revealed side of any mini card. This one, nope. Then we're going to do it again, because does it say limit once? Nope. We did that one. Phantom. Okay, so this is the Phantom. 
So next turn, when this thing goes in here, there'll be two per then, so we can just go in there and look at that. You need to do something. You'll take two actions to discard this thing. Last action, gain a cord, I guess. And then enemy phase, they do nothing. This goes into the thing. Um, so we're going to do... Where's B at? Here you are, B. Decoy, decoy. Do it like that so we know where it is. Um, then what do we do? I mean, okay. Doom goes to six out of seven and encounters. You go over here, perfect. You go over here, perfect. Okay, so um, fast action. We're going to take a horror. You should have healed one. And we're going to put it right back. Two. No, we don't have to. We're going to put a whore here. So now we can ignore the fucking force effect on that. Uh, then I think we're going to let Rita go first. That was a fast action. I think I'm allowed to do that. So it is minus two. So it's a three shroud. I'm up three. I'm up six. I have to take a horror. We'll put it on Milan. Fuck it. So we're going to reveal this mini card. We're going to ignore its forced effect. So now it's just in play. Um, when the phantom enters the location, put the set aside Christina dot into play. Okay. Does this thing... Okay, it's just engaged with you now. The one we don't want it to be engaged with. The Phantom gains poorly test 4-4. Four, four. If you succeed, place one clue on the Phantom from the token bank. Investigators at your location may spend two clues they control to place an additional clue. If you fail, the Phantom attacks you. If there are four more clues on the Phantom, flip the Phantom, exhaust him, and disengage. We don't have enough time for that. We don't have enough time to do a four book and four will because this one's not good at that. We have to... Can we even do eight? Nope, I just can't win. I don't have enough damage on me. And while I was checking the rules, I saw that this was just the investigators lose. Damn it. Oh, well. Well, that's it. Okay, so no sense dragging it out anymore. The time has come for our exit. The phantom roars, and our exit shall shake the foundations of all Paris. He cackles madly as your words and weapons fail to reach him. Twisting a golden switch on a nearby mantle, time seems to move in slow motion as an explosion blossoms before you. Your last vision before blackness engulfs you is of the Persian shoving you and Christine in the murky waters of the sewer. Um, if no resolution was reached... Um, it was not Agenda 1, it was Agenda 2. Resolution 2, the incident at the Opera House became the talk of Paris. The Phantom had destroyed himself, and the Persian paid the price to keep you and Christine from the same fate. But knowing now the forces that the Phantom aligned himself with, you wonder if it truly is the end of anything. Record, the Phantom, the Phantom destroyed himself. I call that a win. Let's go. The Phantom is dead. I call that a victory. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.